Imagine if you go long here and ride this uptrend all the way to the top. That's more than 900 pips profit. Watch till the end to learn how to use this simple Fibonacci retracement strategy like professional traders. Hi traders! In today's video we'll be covering how to trade Forex using Fibonacci retracement as well as going over a simple Fibonacci retracement trading strategy with a high win rate. We'll have some practice examples at the end of the video and apply what we learn on real price charts. With that being said, let's get into it. What is Fibonacci analysis? 12th century monk and mathematician Leonardo da Pisa, also branded as Fibonacci, uncovered a logical sequence of numbers that appears throughout nature and in great works of art. These Fibonacci numbers fit perfectly into our modern financial markets because they describe with great accuracy complex relationships between individual waves within trends, as well as how far markets will pull back when they return to levels previously traded. In general, Fibonacci retracement levels are some horizontal lines that indicate where a possible retracement of a price may occur. The Fibonacci retracement levels define some key areas of support and resistance to the traders. The Fibonacci retracement levels are associated with a single percentage point. These percentage points signify in general how much of a previous price impulse the price is currently retraced to. These Fibonacci numbers include 23.6, 38.2, 50, 61.8, 61.7, 61.9, 61.9, 61 and 78.6%. The Fibonacci indicator that's provided on most of the trading platforms can be handy as it indicates potential retracement levels of stock, forex pair, or a cryptocurrency. The Fibonacci indicator can be drawn in different ways, usually by connecting two key price points where a significant impulse has occurred. For example, it can be drawn by dragging the indicator from a recent price high on a chart to a current price low. In this way, you'll be able to locate the potential retracements of that significant price impulse. Sounds complicated? No worries. Check out this example. This is the British Pound USD 4-hour chart. I've added the Fibonacci retracement levels to the setup. Keep watching as I'm going over a simple method to add them to your trading chart in the most accurate way. We can see this major uptrend. In general, up or downtrend breakouts are followed by a reversal or retracement trend following. Traders look for opportunities to enter the market and ride the trend to its end. While Fibonacci retracement provides traders with vital function areas where a pullback might reach, the Fibonacci extension can help traders attain literate profit targets for their trend continuation entry orders. The first step is to identify the most recent swing low and swing high. Always stick to the most obvious ones. If you don't see a clear uptrend, just avoid using any Fibonacci retracement trading strategy. We can see a clear uptrend here, so we proceed to draw the Fibonacci retracement levels. If you're on TradingView, you can find the Fibonacci tool right here. Simply double click it and return to the setup where we spot the AB associated with the trend. Point A represents the very start of the pound bull run against the US dollar. B is the swing high level in this example. We need to connect points A and B and C. So what does point C represent? As mentioned earlier, the Fibonacci retracement strategy allows you to enter the market during a price reversal phase. Point C is the swing low that's formed at the reversal stage and our entry point. This entry level is found thanks to Fibonacci retracement levels and some basic price action factors. We need to drag the Fibonacci retracement tool from the swing low, A, to the swing high, B. We first click on the swing low, and then the swing high, and this will automatically plot our Fibonacci lines on the chart. Thanks to the application of our Fibonacci retracement levels, we can see that the British pound has retraced to the 50% Fib level and has rejected it. Will the pair continue in its upward move? Time will tell. However, up to point C, we can certainly determine the market has found support at this Fibonacci level at a 61.8% Fibonacci retracement before buyers have come back into the market. So you might be wondering why the price retraced to this particular level and not another one. Well, there are multiple reasons. First of all, we can see that this level has already been respected previously. In trading, the factor of history is extremely important. History repeats itself. Other than that, this is the 4-hour chart and each candle has a story to tell. 
We can see that the uptrend resumed with a bullish hammer candle, which signifies that sellers came into the market during the period, but by close, the selling had been absorbed and buyers had pushed the price back to near the open. The hammer is followed by three white soldiers pattern, which consists of three consecutive long-bodied candlesticks that open with the previous candle's real body and close above the previous candle's high. This is a very strong bullish signal that typically occurs at the end of a downtrend. We can now go long immediately and place the stop loss below point A and aim for at least 1 to 1.3 risk to reward ratio. You can always use a trailing stop to capture the maximum number of pips or exit right after the moving average lines cross over. You can check out the video we've made recently where we tested the three moving average crossover strategy. I'll leave the link at the end of this video. Again, we're expecting the trend to resume at one of the following Fibonacci levels, which are 23.6, 38.2, 50, 61.8, or 78.6%. We found these specific levels to be the most effective in our trading as they can represent turning points. If the price drops below 78.6%, you should avoid entering as there are high chances that we are looking at a trend reversal setup. So to sum up, we need to draw the Fibonacci retracement levels, wait for a reversal as a first confirmation, and check the key levels such as support and resistance as our second confirmation. The third signal is the price action. We should look for a bullish or bearish candlestick pattern before entering. Let's look at another example before we move on to the last part of the video where I'll let you do some practicing with market examples. This is the Euro USD 4 hour chart. When applying the Fibonacci retracement trading strategy, it's better to stick to high time frames so you can be trading with big institutions or what's called smart money trading. We can notice a very strong downtrend represented by multiple bearish candles. The price closed below the latest high, which signifies that we're dealing with a trend reversal, not a simple uptrend retracement. We can see a pullback that defines our low point B. Now we need to draw the Fibonacci retracement levels on our chart. We always begin by point A and drag the tool down to B. Once done, we begin observing the price action and wait for any strong bearish candlestick pattern. We can notice a series of long bullish candles with low or no tails, which means that the bulls are firmly in control. A small bearish candle forms, followed by a relatively upper and lower tail candle. This means that the buyers began exiting their position as we approach the second Fibonacci level, but this isn't enough to enter the market in my opinion. Let's continue looking for a bearish sign. Well, the downtrend seems to resume and the price went down with a spectacular bearish engulfing candle. We can place our sell stop below the closing price. Stop loss should be located above point A. That's another successful trade of more than 250 pips. We can always check for trend continuation signs in lower time frames. Each chart tells you a story, and the most important part is practice. That's why I've prepared some practicing examples. Make sure to locate points A and B, draw the Fibonacci retracement, and think of the right time to enter the market. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions or a trading strategy you want me to cover in a future video. Thank you.